going on guys? It's me, Jake. So, uh, I'm gonna be going somewhere. I'm gonna leave it super ambiguous. We'll see if you guys have any guesses. One hint, it is freaking hot there. Hotter than this merch, you say? Yeah, yes. And I'm gonna be there for a while. It's a study abroad thing through my school. Jay Laser video goes abroad. Roll clip. Dude, we don't have a clip. You haven't gone yet. Actually, I might be there at the time this video comes out, depending on how lazy I am. But unfortunately, that means we're going to have to put our bigger projects on hold until the summer. And honestly, guys, I'm not sure what the building situation is going to be like over there. I know I'm going to be taking engineering classes, but we'll see if they have like a workshop. I obviously don't have a studio over there. It's a different country. So I'm definitely going to have to figure out how to make these videos. But I'm going to look at this as an opportunity to create some new types of content that I couldn't hear. Taking advantage of the beautiful views, the warm climate. Ah, oh, it's going to be great, guys. It is. I cannot not tell you how excited I am to go. It is so cold where I am right now. I happen to run into some people who are from where I'm going. And one tip they said was, uh, don't go in the water. You're gonna die out there one way or the other. Basically, the ocean's super dangerous for a couple months. So that gave me the idea, how do I go in the water without actually going in the water? Answer, underwater drone. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is the project we are doing today. I'm going to try and build a remote controlled underwater drone to allow me to take beautiful pictures of an underwater scenery and incorporate some cool engineering. Currently don't really have a plan, I how I'm gonna do this, but you know, that's future Jake's problems. So, uh, sucks to be him, right? Got the Wii remote right here, tapped into the potentiometer, hooked it up to this Arduino, ran it up to my computer, and I now have a serial out. I swear to God, guys, if the audience retention dips for this part, I am only doing hot knife videos. Credit for that joke goes to uh, William Osmond. Progress is definitely being made. We can now control a servo using the Wii remote. So if we move it forward, as you can see, and back and forward. But if we can control this servo, that means we can control these underwater propellers. All right guys, so full disclosure, I've changed the design of this thing like probably eight times now. But what I do think I'm gonna do is use my 360 camera for the drone camera. This thing right here shoots in full, oh God, 360 degrees. And this thing connects directly to your iPhone. So pretty much what I'm gonna try and do is see if I can make an incredibly long lightning cable adapter that I'll just plug right into this and transmit directly to our phone. Trying to do it with a ethernet cable and uh, we'll see if this even works. So my job right now is to solder all of these eight wires to all of these eight wires. Holy sh! Two hours later. Hey, we did it. Eight of the tiniest wires I have ever seen. But oh wait, we have to do the exact same thing all over again. <sighs> One eternity later. Finally wired everything up. So now all we should have to do is just plug this in there and we should get everything on there. So let's go ahead and do that, see what happens. Turns on, but we don't get any video feed over here. My theory of why this doesn't work is either because of the signal loss due to the long cable or the fact that the lightning pin has more pins than I wired up, which is why it'll charge but it won't transmit video. We gotta think of something else. All right, I finally think I came up with a design that's gonna work. It's pretty much, we get a box. And in that box, we put batteries and two ESCs. Honestly, it fits so perfectly. This has gotta be the right way to do it. So this is actually a dive box, so it's waterproof. And the plan is to mount the underwater electric motors to this box and have this thing go on the surface. Then, we're going to use a cable to lower down the camera beneath it. Uh, it'll be like retractable so we can adjust the length obviously um, for when we're in deeper waters or just what depth we wanna go. I um, mean, it's a 360 camera so even if we're moving and the wire's like um, diagonal, the 360 camera will be able to pick up whatever angle we want. And then finally to make sure we're not just dragging the camera in the mud, we're going to have another wireless camera attached to this facing downward right on the camera so we can see what's going on a little bit. Um, down below like with a live feed. Honestly, if the movie Jaws had one of those, everyone would just been so much, so much better off. All right, hands in, cut it to like, look like I have more people. And break. Oh God. Alright guys, we got a box of wires. I know it looks like a bomb. It's not. Um, we're gonna test it out though. We've got just this servo controller right here. 
So when I turn this knob, both motors on either side should spin. So let's try this out. And it looks like it's working. That's a good sign. Right now they're hooked up to the same channel, so they're both moving at the same speed, but all right, can you just not beep for once? So I just put a little thing on the front here, and what I'm planning to do is take this waterproof case for the 360 camera, kind of have it in here, and then have like a string mechanism that will that'll drop it down however far we want, and then we'll also have the motor be able to pull it back up. I think I know exactly what we need to make that work. Come with me. This heap of wires and mess right here is a retractable dart gun. Spider-Man edition, goes on your wrist, shoots it out. Here's a little clip. So it uses a dart and a fishing reel to reel in whatever you hit. A regular fishing rod works, press this button, it releases, this dart can just go out as long as it can. And then when I wanna reel it in, I have a little button right here that I press so the dart will get wound up just like that. So I'm thinking all we have to do is replace this dart with the 360 camera, figure out a way to press this button to drop the camera down, and then a way to press the button to reel it back up. Everything is set up, it's all beeping at me. God, this looks so much like a bomb though. Like, And I might have to take this on a plane, so fingers crossed. Jesus, all right, just test this out real quick. The left joystick controls the left motor, right joystick, the right motor, that makes sense. And then what I did was I wired up a servo to the fifth channel right here. So when this switch is in the middle position, the servo is doing nothing. When I switch it up, it releases the lock on the fishing line. I've attached this weight right here. It can't lift the camera, not in the water, but the buoyancy in the water will make the camera lighter, so this will be able to lift it. Um, so if I flip this switch up, this thing will drop down below the boat, just like the camera would in the ocean. Flip it up, it drops down. And then to wind it back up, then all I do is flip this down. So we can drive this thing around, raise and lower the camera, and we also have the live view of the wireless camera pointing down, which uh, we need to work on next, so let's do that. So here is the camera. I've used these before. They're pretty decent, like wireless cameras. They're only like 30 bucks. I remember it working very well. So inside we've got a battery pack, a USB cable, and the camera itself. This device will actually put out its own Wi-Fi, which you can connect to with your phone and then download an app to view the live stream directly from this camera. And I actually tested this out and it works for about like 300 feet away. So. Currently testing out the wireless camera for the drone. I'm probably a couple hundred feet from my house, which is that one right there. Um, and the camera is still transmitting, so that is a good sign. But man, is it freezing outside. Like, look at this. And I don't ever want this to go like out of eyesight, so that's pretty much all we need. So now the camera is transmitting Wi-Fi, so we're gonna hop on into the app. You can change your Wi-Fi password if you want. I don't really care though. Just as long as all of you promise not to hack into this camera. All right, good, take your word for it. So now we are live, so we're getting a live view of this camera right here. You can see on the screen there, my beautiful face. We can get probably get like some meta shots going there. Ready? Up, oh, whoa! Yo, dude. So now we need to put this into our drone. So we got the camera mounted in right here, actually. So we've got the phone view right there, camera's right here, and it just runs into the box right there. It breaks the seal just a tiny little bit, but ideally this won't be below the water line. Um, it'll only just have to take like splashes of like waves going over it. Um, so I think we should be good. Okay, so we finally have everything working. We wave it down here, you can see my hand. Right, left. Let's go try this out. So because there's about like 20 feet of snow outside, we're gonna have to use a bathtub. Hopefully this doesn't just break right away. All right, nothing's going too wrong yet. Seems to be pretty buoyant. It'll be more buoyant in fits in salt water too, so keep that in mind. I've got the 360 camera right here. I've got the live stream. Oh yeah, there's my hand. See what happens if we give it a little power. Ooh. Nice. Works well enough.
let's try the 360 camera drop. So I've attached my 360 camera right in there. So let's see what happens if we flip this switch. I just flipped the switch. You can see the 360 camera floating on the bottom down there. Let's see what happens if we flip the up. Winds it right back up. Lower and raise. Let's go. And this underwater camera hasn't broken yet, so that is good. It's still transmitting. So uh, let's take this out and check for any leaks. All right, let's see what we got. Pretty happy with that. All right, guys, unfortunately, I can't test it properly in this video due to the saturating cold temperatures, but I will be testing it soon. So make sure you smash, no murder, that subscribe button. Commit World War III on that like button. Because I have a feeling the testing of this is gonna be pretty cool. The pieces are all there. I guess leave your suggestions down in the description. Um, buy a shirt if you want to help support this channel. And uh, yeah, that's it for this one, guys. So take it easy, and I will catch you in the next video, ha ha ho.